We do begin with this morning, though, with that horrific murder of an innocent little boy right here in New York. An eight-day-old baby girl in Arkansas is in the hospital. Forest City Police say For every soldier that comes back from Afghanistan or Iraq, there are ten children who suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome because of violence. The majority of our cases involve sexual assault. Before the center, what happened was not so great. Everybody had their own agency, and there was never a time where people came back and said, okay, what did you hear, what did you hear, um, to really be able to compare notes. And any child who came into the system had to go to each agency to talk about abuse. Community leaders came together. These were people from the police department. It was the elected district attorney at the time to talk about not necessarily where things went wrong, but what can we do in the future to do a better job in investigating these cases. And so the child protection team was born in the early 90s. That includes the police department, the Center for Child Protection, as well as Child Protective Services. When I came to the Center for Child Protection, I had a foster daughter. And when she first came, she was wearing a 3T. She was six years old. She had just turned six. This child, when I saw her, was emotionally operating pretty close to a newborn. She not only has issues of chronic neglect, she, has, she also has issues of physical and sexual abuse in her history. And I remember when Sydney first came, she would go, She didn't know how to, you know, pet, pet her. And it took a while, a long while, before she made that connection. And I think that really speaks volumes as to how she can bridge the gap between, you know, a child. Now she can hug her mom. Yes, now she does hug me. And she says, I love you. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't even talk at age six. that this program calls to me is that it's the only thing that I'm aware of that really and truly is more than a band-aid. Child Protective Services is never going away. Law enforcement is never going away. So what about making them stronger? What about getting them the training that they need? Recognizing excellence. And that's the thing I think that has called us together as a team.